back everybody at our live stream. My name is Olof van Duivenmode, a Rotterdam-based journalist. And I am uh, here with two new guests, two gentlemen, Dennis Dortland of Portbase and Shahid Azarkan of Customs. Welcome. You Thank have you. a challenge Thank together. You. And is it the first time that uh, you are uh, partnering up? Uh, well, it's not the first time that we're partnering up, but it's the first time we're partnering up for the challenge. For everybody who hasn't seen the challenge, because it will be it's broadcasting now and it will be broadcasted later, um, tell me shortly about the challenge. I Ask think you, you started out with no, a nice you slide. Uh, no, you do, you do it better than me, Dennis. Well, as, um, as the customs explained, uh, have you ever flown? I have. You have, yes. occasionally. And you're, you probably had an interview yourself, you're on the other side. So someone said, is this your luggage? Yeah. And did you, pack, you, yeah. did you pack it yourself? Exactly. And, and what was your answer? Yes, yes, yes. Please, okay. let me go through. So what if someone said, uh, did you pack it yourself? No. And do you know what's in it? No. Do you think you can fly? No, I will be having a problem. You would be having a problem. Well, that's, that's actually what happens in logistics every day. There's all of these guys moving a lot of containers around the country who really don't have an idea what's in it. So, and, and other people know what's in it and they need to know it, you know, to, to declare uh, uh, taxes and things like that. But you don't know it when you're driving uh, the vehicle. So that's very different. And he, but he has it on in a document somewhere you say, oh, it is clothing and he sees, oh, clothing. Yeah, that's so right, that's right. But uh, take, take the example of fireworks, for example. So uh, fireworks in Holland are considered dangerous goods, but in China they're toys, for example. So they're declared as toys in, in China. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, but as in Holland we need to declare them as fireworks, for example. Yeah, so, of course. So that's, that brings the, uh, the complexity of, of uh, supply chains nowadays uh, really, well, it's, it's really quite complex. Yeah, and what do you hope that the hackers will uh Solve. What? Well, we're hoping on um, enabling more transparent supply chains, for example. Or if, uh, actually, so um, uh, we want to know the origin of the goods. We want to know the destination of the goods. We want to know who bought the goods, who sold the goods, for example. So we can have a, we can make a better risk assessment as customs. It sounds like a very big uh, puzzle to have that all together and because there are so many parties involved in what is inside a container. Is, That's it, right. is it as difficult as I imagine it to be? Oh, yes, yes it is, it yeah. is. Yes. And uh, well, Dennis can, can elaborate on that. Yeah, well, no, the, the good news is that we've actually already done a lot. If you look at the Dutch ports, and that's also being recognized uh, internationally, in the Dutch ports, we, we have a lot of information digitized already. So when people talk about a lot of paperwork that needs to be handled in logistics, actually a lot of that paperwork needs to be done, but it is digitized. So we have digital pro processes. Now, if you, you know, if you digitize a mess, you still have a mess, but it's digitized. So there's a lot of things that could still improve, but what we also see, and, and that's one of the challenges for customs, is that no ship that comes into Rotterdam comes falling out of the sky. You know, usually one of the vessels has already seen a port somewhere else. And uh, in the other port, there is a lot of paperwork being done manually and by paper. So when they come to the Dutch ports, none of that information will be reused. So all the information needs to be entered again. So on the one hand, you have errors, making, you know, making uh, uh, good cargo, good transporters, you know, come up with bad information. And you have a lot of information that is handled ma manually, so can be manipulated. And that's a challenge. Exactly, because that would be my next question. What is the downside of that information? Uh, because if you know what's inside a container, then everybody can know what's inside the container. So it makes it vulnerable. Yeah, so so the, the challenge actually is to come up with a, a certain model where you authorize actors um, to access the information. So not all people need to have access to the same information. So maybe the hackers can think about uh, a way to authorize certain people or certain actors within the supply chain uh, to access certain information. And is it because um, you said it's the first time you uh, encompassed a challenge together? Um, how, how was the process? Uh, well, um, the process was actually much broader than this, uh, than, than partnering between, between the two of us. Uh, 
We had a, a session where all the parties that are involved within the hackathon uh, collaborated on the challenges for the, for the logistics uh, and port uh, as a whole, actually. And certain challenges that were distillated from that session uh, are being adopted by certain partners within the organization. So that is when, when was that? Was that last year? No, no, so actually that was in May. Ah, so you had participants of the hackathon, of the World Port Hackathon of 2016, who uh, a few months later came together again. Yeah, I think it's, it's as Leon said, you know, if you co-create things together, so we actually co-created with a lot of the partners that, uh, that do these challenges, we co-created the challenges. So we sat around the table saying, you know what, uh, in our ports, what are the problems that we're combating? And we made a, a list of things and uh, we thought that six was a good number to, uh, to challenge. And do you see some relation within the challenges? If you have all of the data that we want in our challenge, then it's also easier to predict exactly, what's happening exactly. in the future. Exactly, exactly. And is it because of the hackathon that you uh, see each other more often, that you talk about your struggles more often? Yeah, so, so it really enables, yeah. um, uh, well, it enables people within the community to learn from each other and to learn about each other also. So that's, I think the, the hackathon is a, is a way to establish a broad network within the port community actually. So that's yeah. quite nice. Yeah, it is. I, I can imagine. I don't know if that, would, uh, that has been the main aim from the beginning, but it's, uh, it's an interesting effect. So yeah, it's interesting right. to see how that evolves. What do you hope? For because uh, for the future, for uh, how can this collaboration be perfectioned, sustained? No, well, sustained yeah, and yeah. Uh, be even better. Sure, that's right. Yeah. Well, well, after you. Yeah, no, I think it's 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 what you always hope out of these things that some um, sustainable things uh, will happen. So either you know uh, parties that are involved here, either in, in being a challenger or solving a challenge, they find each other, they find a match, and you know somewhere out there there's this company with a great solution, but they haven't found the right problem yet. Yeah. And and it's these places where you know business owners or or process, you know people that that understand the port processes, get in touch with people with fresh ideas, and you know us thinking from improving the existing processes. You cannot always imagine, you know, what would it be like if you don't have those processes. And, and these kinds of events bring those things together and you get, you get some sort of energy. You know, that's... If it, it, yeah, I, I can relate to that actually because you see, every, and you see everybody working on uh, problems and you see actual struggles. Uh, yeah. So it is in that way, it's an in inspiring environment, I think. So that's maybe right. we should have it every every month. Every day. Every day. Oh every my day god. Hackathon. Every day hackathon. <laughs> this should not become business as usual. No. This should be something yeah. that that every time you're here, you're like, hey, what what? This is different than than. This is not your comfort zone. Yeah, exactly. That's this. It's it's different, and that's what it should have. That and it that stimulates prickle. your mind because yeah. it's not your comfort zone. So, exactly. so we, had, we had a few questions earlier from uh, hackers about our challenge, and they were quite critical actually. But uh, it challenges us to be sharper in our challenge actually. So that's something that we encourage and that we like. The challenge was, was to be sharper in the challenge? For us, yeah. Wow, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. meta going uh, the yeah, other way around. Right. So as challengers, Mate, uh, you can be challenged like as well. Yeah, <laughs> I'm in inception immediately. Oh my Challenge god. The challengers, <laughs> yeah. yes. Yeah, yeah. Well, you also had a breakout in a breakout. Yeah, so yeah. that's a double inception. What is the, the one tip you have for the hackers who are working on your challenge now? You already gave a few tips, I think. But yes. So uh, I think uh, the tip of Alex uh, at the end of the conference was really helpful. You need to talk to your uh, target audience uh, and you, make, you need to make something that's tailored to them and you, make it, you need to make it fun for them to use it. Yeah, I think it's... it's um, there's these two sides. One, you need to understand your customer, and the other, on the other hand, especially the hackers here, they need to be able to say, screw that, I'm doing something new and fresh. So they need to understand, but be open to do something radically new. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So fun, radically new. And have fun yeah. in the process. Yes. Yeah. That's also yeah. important. Also important. 
I hope you all listened and uh, watched this episode again. Thank you guys for being here. Have fun uh, today. And will you be here tomorrow as well? Yes. Okay. Yes, we will. Okay. Okay. See you tomorrow. Thank you for watching.